Welcome to Learning Bucket, your go-to channel for unraveling the complex world of economic institutions. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just curious about how economies operate, you've come to the right place. Imagine a world without stock markets, a cornerstone of modern financial systems. The absence of stock markets would fundamentally transform the way companies raise capital, how individuals invest their savings, and the overall dynamics of economic growth. Forcedly, without stock markets, companies would rely more heavily on debt financing from banks or private investors. This shift could limit the availability of capital for startups and growth stage companies, as debt financing often requires collateral and a proven track record of profitability, which newer companies might lack. Consequently, innovation could slow down, as fewer companies might manage to scale their operations or bring new products and services to market. Alternative funding methods, such as crowdfunding or venture capital, would likely become more prevalent, but these might not fully compensate for the breadth and efficiency of capital allocation facilitated by stock markets. For individuals, the absence of stock mark. Economic institutions are foundational structures within society that guide the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. They encompass a broad range of systems, including banks, labor markets, regulatory bodies, and even the legal frameworks that enforce contracts. These institutions are not just physical entities. They also comprise the rules, norms, and practices that govern economic behavior and transactions. Their significance cannot be overstated, as they play a crucial role in shaping the efficiency, stability, and fairness of an economy. The importance of economic institutions lies in their ability to reduce uncertainty and transaction costs in economic activities. By establishing clear rules and norms, they make it easier for individuals and businesses to engage in trade and investment, knowing that their contracts will be enforced and their rights protected. This fosters an environment where economic activities can flourish, driving innovation, product, Economic institutions are pivotal structures within any society, orchestrating the management, distribution, and production of goods and services. These institutions vary widely in form and function, serving as the backbone of economic systems worldwide. At their core, they can be broadly classified into four main types. Market-based institutions are organizations or frameworks that rely on the principles of the free market to operate and make decisions. These institutions are pivotal in facilitating economic transactions and are characterized by their reliance on the forces of supply and demand to determine prices, allocate resources efficiently, and guide the production of goods and services. Unlike centrally planned economies where the government makes most economic decisions, market-based institutions operate under the premise that open, competitive markets lead to more innovative, efficient, and responsive outcomes. These institutions can take various forms, including financial markets like stock market a giant marketplace where people can buy and sell shares of ownership in companies, stocks, investors, and stock exchange. Commodity market it is a marketplace where people trade raw materials or basic goods, instead of finished products like smartphones or furniture. Producer, consumer, investor commodity, and labor market it is the system where supply and demand for labor meet. Supply, demand, workers, employers can be geographic, industry-specific, skill-based. This category includes central banks, commercial banks, credit unions, insurance companies, and investment firms. Central Bank, Banco Central in Pilipinas, it controls monetary policy and regulates the banking sector. Commercial Bank provides a range of services from deposit accounts to loans and investments, crucial for both personal finance and business operations. Government Bank includes various government departments and agencies responsible for regulating economic activities and providing public goods and services. Nonprofit institutions often fill gaps in public services, advocate for economic reforms, and provide assistance in areas such as education, health care, and disaster relief. Governmental institutions including various branches and levels of government create and enforce laws and policies that direct economic activity. This can range from setting tax policies and spending on public goods, to regulating markets and providing social safety nets. Governments play a crucial role in addressing market failures, redistributing resources, and ensuring economic stability and growth through macroeconomic policies. Thank you for watching. For more video lessons like and subscribe.